what's going on guys my name is essence and welcome back to my channel wow it's been a long time a very long time um you know what guys it's just been crazy it's been crazy i just want to come on here because i'm like i might as well just sit down talk to you guys detangle my hair and just talk let's just chop it up let's just talk let's just forget about the fact that we're locked up you know if you're an extrovert like me if you're a very social person like myself you're struggling but stay with me stay here let's stay together i realize that for myself that like um watching other youtube videos and stuff like that is kind of just helping me pass time helping me take my mind off of like what's going on so <sighs> that's why i want to just come on here talk to you guys let's detangle our hair together if you want to detangle prop your phone up in the bathroom you know wherever in your room grab your comb whatever your denman brush spray bottle and let's just detangle our hair let's just talk you know let's try to be normal you know so anyways my hair um yeah it's it's you know it's not happy with me right now um a byproduct of being like locked down and not being able to go anywhere is that i haven't had to do my hair so i haven't been doing my hair <laughs> so like for the past couple nights i've been like sleeping without a bonnet and you know any stuff like that so you know yeah it's just no good so I need to detangle it I might be doing like a mini twist tutorial I'm thinking because um, a lot of people really liked my mini twist when I did them last time I posted it on Instagram as well so I might be actually doing a tutorial on how I do my mini twist that way I can like film a tutorial for you guys have a protective style and I don't have to touch my hair anyways and my hair can just like chill in the twists for the next five years because you know okay so my mirror is just right behind the camera here so if you see me looking off into the distance that's where I'm looking um today I am using I'm actually using a Denman brush to detangle this time which I don't usually do I don't usually use but the Denman brush is the brush or the tool that provides the most curl definition out of like all of the other tools that I've used. It's a little bit smaller so it takes a little bit longer but we're talking anyway, right? We're chilling so um, I'm going to be using Denman brush. I'm also going to be using just a spray bottle, water, shea butter and then I'm going to lock it in with my uh, tropical moringa sealing cream from the main choice. It has a, like a much longer name but like you get what I'm saying. So I'm actually switching it up. I usually don't use these products together, so we'll see how it's gonna work. They apparently don't see the beauty supply store as an essential business here in um, Toronto. So I, when I heard that the stores were closing down, I went to grab what I thought that I would need for the next like few weeks. And now we're talking about possibly being on lockdown for three more months. So I may, I may need to be doing some like online ordering and stuff like that and have some stuff shipped to my house because I can't go anywhere. If we want to talk about what I've been doing during this time, um, you know, a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I usually go outside a lot. Like I am a stay at home mom for those who don't know, um, but I usually don't stay in my house for days on end like this. Like I'm not a homebody. I'm not someone who like is just okay with being at home. At the very least I have like people over at my house, but it's just, yeah, like I'm just struggling. So I've just been home and thankfully the past few days, like the weather has been much nicer. So I've been able to like go out for walks with my son, you know, just be outside. Sometimes we just like blow bubbles on the front porch. Um, you know at the very least but it's really hard <laughs> it is not easy and i'm thinking to myself like do people actually know like how hard it is for extroverts and for people who are very social to be like stuck inside it's so boring so boring okay length check okay when when the hair can't fit in the frame you know you're growing you know you're doing something good <laughs> so so you, oh, this is nice. This is nice. You guys probably can't see, but the curls are coming out there. So I'm just gonna twist this up, guys. Nothing, I'm not styling my hair at all. 
just putting them in twist they'll probably stay in twist for a couple of days and then when I feel ready then I'll do the mini twist but for now it's just just detangling just something simple anyway so yeah so now that the weather has been a little bit nicer and I'm talking like you know some days have been up to 17 19 degrees here in Toronto which is so good um, most days it's around 12 or something so you know but regardless we put on the winter jackets and we go outside because when it's raining and when it's gray nothing you can do so I've been doing that for those who don't know like I am a Christian so we go to church Sundays and Wednesday honestly I go to church a lot like several times a week <laughs> I'm in church um, and so my husband is the song leader at church and so what they've been doing is because we can't go they've been live streaming the sermons and stuff so we can listen at home but because my husband is the song leader um, he still goes to do songs and this is nice guys you guys seeing this this is nice my friends and I have been doing like WhatsApp conversations, lots of WhatsApp group chats, just really trying to pass our time. On Instagram, I'm getting tagged in like <laughs> so many tags and um, challenges and stuff like that because like really and truly, like what else are we supposed to be doing? So um, I'm on Instagram a lot more than it usually would be. And I, th I feel like just in general, I'm on my phone more than I would be. Yeah, like there's nothing is really going on but let me know like comment down below how you guys are dealing with this time i know for people who have school age children now all of a sudden they've become like homeschooling moms and dads so like let me know how that's been going for you um as i said for me things have been like kind of normal because i would be at home anyway um what else so i've been playing i've been downloading like lots of random games on my phone you guys know trivia crack me and my friends used to play that like years ago. I'm back on Trivia Crack 2. I think there's one and two, but I'm on two. But anyways, if you guys are interested in playing Trivia Crack, add me, um, come find me. My my username on Trivia Crack is A plus, A-Y-E-P-L-U-S, just cause like, I don't know, what else is my name supposed to be on there? <laughs> so if you wanna come play me in Trivia Crack, you know, Come do that because you're not doing anything else anyway let's be honest other than that other than what i've been doing my son is having his his third birthday coming up april 19th and i had a party like you know planned out for him it was going to be a toronto raptors theme party because he loves the raptors he loves watching games with us he knows like the players names and everything and so i'm like you know this is gonna be really fun he's never had a party before because i'm just like he doesn't really understand like at the age at ages one and two kids don't really understand you know parties and stuff like that so i didn't want to waste my money on throwing him a party this was going to be his first party and yeah that's not happening now um i even like rented i even rented out the space and everything paid for it thankfully like it's at a it was at a community center so they're just refunding me and stuff but that's just unfortunate because his birthday is not even like it's not even like we can redo the party when we come out of this quarantine thing because it's going to be like two months after like it doesn't even make sense so yeah we're just gonna have to plan something at home do something at home um his birthday falls on a sunday this year i believe so maybe on Saturday we can celebrate since on Sunday my husband is kind of out a lot of the day doing the live stream. So yeah, like doesn't that suck? <laughs> if you guys have any ideas of like things, if you guys have any ideas of like fun things that we can do at home for his party, let me know. Moving on from that, I am also um, turning 30. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. Um, my 30th birthday is coming up on June 9th and it's, I thought I would definitely be, I thought we would definitely be out of this like isolation situation by then, but it's also looking like that's not going to happen. So, I mean, it could, it definitely still could. I love celebrating birthdays. Like I'm someone who loves celebrating birthdays. So like the fact that I'm probably just going to have to spend it at home, I'm just gonna be home alone with my son 
which is great. Usually on my birthday, I go get my nails done every year. Can't do that. Um, I can't even drive and sit down in a Starbucks because Starbucks is closed down. Um, like there's nothing I can do. So if you guys have any suggestions on anything that I can do to celebrate my 30th birthday alone, let me know. We'll just see how that goes. Um, what else is happening? Yeah, guys, so like, that's pretty much it in terms of like the isolation thing, you know? Comment down below and let me know like, what are you doing to pass the time? Like literally, what are you doing? Give me ideas, give me things to do. What games are you playing? What videos or movies are you watching? Like, I don't know because it's like I'm starting to go, it's like I'm starting to go stir crazy. Like it's just, I can't even picture what life is gonna be like for another two, three months doing this. Like it's just not realistic at all. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know what, what you're doing, what, what's what been keeping you busy, what's been keeping you occupied. Yeah, like I would love to know those kinds of things. Oh, and let me know what you guys plan to do with your hair. Like what are you guys doing with your hair? Are you gonna be like just kind of neglecting it <laughs> and taking advantage of the fact that you don't need to do it? Are you gonna be like protective styling? Did you buy products before the stores close? Like what is your hair plan? Because I know some people are kind of like taking this opportunity to try new hairstyles because if it fails, they don't need to go anywhere. Um, some people are just really keeping their hair in braids and twists because, you know, just to keep it healthy and low manipulation and stuff like that. So let me know what you're doing with your hair. I would love, love, love to know. As much as it would be nice to have like braid or something twist or something like that like what's a good what's a good like it's almost like does it make sense to have like a nice protective style and have nowhere to go you know i don't know but comment down below let me know what your hair state is like what you're doing um with your hair like i would love to know anyways guys i'm going to finish up detangling and twisting this hair because I could be here for like legit another 20 minutes but I'm gonna save you I'm gonna spare you that um, this is what my hair is looking like nice and moisturized nice and detangled I really really love this little trio that I put together here the water the shea butter and the main choice sealing sealing cream they're working really really well together I really like it so if you have these products at home um you know go ahead and try them especially with the um especially with the denman brush denman brushes they don't well mine is small i know they sell bigger ones than this but um it doesn't cover as much like hair it doesn't cover as much hair <laughs> like to detangle so you have to do it in smaller parts but it does give you like curl definition so i really like this especially like for mini twists and stuff like that but anyways guys I am going to finish up detangling, moisturizing, and twisting, and I will see you guys all later. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram because like I'm bored and so are you. So follow me, let's talk, let's chat, let's do stories together, let's do tags and quizzes and all of that kind of stuff. Enjoy your time of being at home and just remember that like as much as this really, really sucks, <laughs> this could be a great time for you guys to like read a new book or try a new skill or spend time with your family or teach yourself something or learn to bake, learn to cook new dishes, take care of your skin, you know, let your, your skin breathe from makeup, let your hair rest and twist. You know, like I'm here with you. It's really unfortunate, but let's just try to look at the positive sides of this that as long as we're gonna be in this time of isolation, sometimes being alone and being reflective is kind of good. So. Let's wait on and let's see what happens. Anyways, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you're doing with your quarantine time, with your downtime, with your isolation time. Give me ideas, games, movies, whatever, books, podcasts, music, all of that kind of stuff. And add me on Instagram so we can quarantine and chill together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.